Okay guys, I get a lot of flack for hunting at feeders. Usually I'm hunting with a, uh, a pistol or a bow and arrow. And a lot of people say, get out and do something, man. Get out and stock them. Do it the way real men do. So just let you know, before the kids came along, that's pretty much the only hunting I used to do was from stalking, like get out and walk around. So now I've got the kids taken care of, got a little sitter for them, and daddy's out for a little stroll, see if I can't pick something up with the 300 blackout. This is the, the 300 blackout. Got a 125 grain bullet, gonna be doing supersonic with it. I think I'm good out to 100 yards, plus I don't, I don't like to shoot past 100 yards anyway when you're trying to harvest something. So. Let's see how it goes. Oh man, what a rush. I was walking along, looking out for those cows. The cows were following me. And out of nowhere, this doe came flying out of the brush. And I raised up and I realized my scope was on like six power and they were within uh, 20 yards, had to be. And then I, I lowered down because she, she looked kind of small. And then right after that came this huge buck right out of the brush. And I raised up even though my scope was still high and I took my time and I led him. Or I didn't have to lead him, he was that close. And I pulled the shot and he ran maybe 20 yards and dropped right here. Let's take a look at him. Dude, look at those antlers. Uh, you know, I passed, I passed on that doe earlier because I knew there was something bigger out here. And sure enough, oh, this is, I recognize this one double brow tines totally cool I've been watching this guy on the cameras and I knew he was out here I knew there was at least a 12 or a 13 this is great this is great news well thanks for watching and please subscribe for more hunting and shooting videos thanks <laughs>